Oh, no, I wouldn't keep it second in with my people. Yeah, what's going on with my people? Checking in with my people. Like, share, subscribe. What's going on with my people? Checking in with my people. Like, share, subscribe. Because the party just started because we stepped in. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Hey! Big salute, big salute, big salute, big salute. Big salute to all my loved ones, support boom, support squad. Big salute to all my big angels out there. Big salute, angels. Big salute to all the righteous revolutionaries out there. Let's go, righteous revolutionaries. Let's go. And big salute to everybody that's tuning in, tapping in for the first time. Make sure you like. If you um digging into this information that's shared here today, make sure you share. If you feel like any information shared here today can be useful or educational to anybody, and make sure you subscribe. Yeah, go ahead hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. You can always come back at a later time and check in, tune in, tap in with us, see what we're talking about. Yeah, because we always talking about something. We always talking about something. But make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hey, yeah, let's jump straight into it, y'all. You know, um, for the ancestors, for the ancestors, for the ancestors. Um, I got a few things I want to bring to y'all today. I think we're going to start off with the icons first. Yeah, we're going to start off with the icons first. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer alert. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, let's go. Hey, Icons look, look like he got a tattoo on his face. Oh, they go the fake. St. George slaying the dragon. Rare images of the sacred which associated with them. I can't read that fast. Look, how I see. This is what they keep hearing through that. They don't want y'all to know. Oh, we was here, we were there, we from here, we from there, we this, we that. But they don't got no receipt though. So, you know, I, I, I got to bring the receipt. Yeah, we got to find the receipt. Come on, 
Nah, you're not going to find this in America. You're only going to find this shit really in Russia right now. Russia's the only power that's holding these ancient relics of our ancestors. Yep. You can find little, little, little pieces here in Ethiopia. Um, I'm pretty sure some um, um, Muslim, Muslim countries, Muslim African countries that you can find these in too. Yeah. But Russia, yeah. Matter of fact, they just had on news the other day, they had bombed one of them churches and it was a gold, a gold painting of uh, uh, Mary and Jesus. No. No. So I was helping people, you know, my people that's in America, that's, um, that's being enlightened and they're on the search looking for truth. Two places that you need to look. South Africa. The old Byzantine Empire. Russia. Yep. Russia. This is why they're going so hard on Russia. Yep. Ethiopia too. But um, I just want a lot of people to know we, we feel a touch on South Africa a little bit too. Um, South Africa is older than Egypt and Israel. Yeah. And the tombs and the burial sites are still in South Africa. You know, why you think that South Africa is so popular among the Europeans? Yeah, there's a reason behind that. Yeah, this is before the, the Indians and all that. Because we are the Indians. Yes. That is true. That is true. We are the Indians. African American Indians. The original people of the earth. Because people still forget we had the whole world company. The Caucasian people ain't come in the picture in 65 years. Yeah, they, they was very rare, you know, on a school Yeah, yeah. So, we, we point people in the right direction. Yeah, point people, point people in the right direction. You know, I just want to start off with that. Now, Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. We're going to talk about these boats. Now, I haven't watched this yet. Ancient African boat technology. For those people like, oh, uh, uh. The Mayans and the Aztecs. No, we, the Olmecs, started off their civilization. We've been coming back and forth to the Americas, helping the Indians, mixing with their people, you know, doing good trade, good business with them. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer alert. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Entertainment and educational purposes only. Hold on, let's go. Yeah, I want to make it bigger for y'all real quick. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Entertainment, educational purposes only. Entertainment, educational purposes only. Let's go. Mentioned the expertise of the Kushites when he noted in the Bible, in Isaiah, book 18, chapter 12, that country of the whirling winds beyond the rivers of Cush, who sent ambassadors by sea and papyrus ships over the waters. This indicates that as late as the Merodic Kushite Empire, papyrus boats were still being used by Africans. Papyrus. We were selling across waters in papyrus. Well, even though papyrus is 
some of the strongest paper paper boats. Yeah, paper boats. <laughs> See how we make things look so easy. Eurocentrics claim Africans have never had nautical knowledge. This is a lie. Africans have been making boats and selling throughout Africa and the world for at least a hundred thousand years. Yep. Yes, a hundred thousand years. Yep. The existence of Africa. Look, the Inca and the Egyptian boats, same thing. So for all those people that's in America trying to make a separation, stop doing that agent separation shit. Put it together. Please, can you do that for me? Can you put it together? <laughs> Come on now. It's all right. It's all right. Just put it all together. When you put things together, things will start making more sense instead of, oh, we was there first and we was here first and we did this first and did that first. No, fool. Put it together. Yeah. Africans sown around the world 100,000 years ago is supported by the fact that we find that Africans went to Brazil and Crete 100,000 years ago. Yeah. It appears that during the prehistoric period of the Nile Valley, both were the major method of communication among the various peoples. Look at the Phoenicians. They say those are the first people to do, uh, have boats. The Phoenicians, Africans. Come on now. If you look at this uh, map of the uh, mega lakes that once existed across Africa, you can see that Africa was very wet. And this, yeah, because the Sahara Desert used to be the ocean. Atlantis is over here in this area. Yeah, well, over here where I'm at, right above me. Yeah, come on now. But see, most of the black Americans that feel like they got some knowledge, they stop up here and think they done learned everything. When this is really South Africa and this is really North Africa. They call this up South. So tell them to come get the information from down this way and connect it with the Egypt information because Kush and Kemet is down here. Egypt is up here. This may explain why we find so many boats engraved in rocks in the Saharan desert. Yep. This is supported by the abundance of boats found on ancient Nile Valley pottery. Africans developed this nautical knowledge by... See, and them, and them fools that's in America that's trying to share knowledge, confusing the people, they, um, they don't mention Timbuktu, they don't mention all these places, these ancient places that's in Africa that predates them pyramids over there in South America, them Inca and, and Mayans and all that. Even though those, those are us too. Yeah, those are us too. Those are our people too. Communicating between villages and cities by the numerous rivers and lakes that crisscrossed Africa. It's interesting to note that you could at one time travel from South Africa to the ancient Green Sahara by boat, yep. sailing along lakes Madagascar, Chad, and Mega Congo. Yep. There were other lakes down in Namibia and South Africa. Yep. The expanse of these lakes were greater than the distance across the Atlantic Ocean between Africa and Brazil. Yes. Yep. These lakes were larger than trying to take a ship across the Atlantic Ocean from Africa to Brazil. Yep. This nautical knowledge gained during millennia of sea travel within Africa along these gigantic, mass, massive mega lakes explains why Africans have never been afraid of sea travel. Never. During the Aqualithic period, the people in the Sahara maintained well-developed trade links with the East African homelands by boats which could travel across Africa along the numerous streams and rivers which dotted the more watered Middle African environment 8,000 years ago. Yep. These people at that time came from the same cultural and genetic background. We can hypothesize that they would have had similar terms for sea-going vessels or boats. 
To test this hypothesis, we must look at the history of naval technology in Middle Africa, the original homeland of the Comedian, Sumerian, Dravidian speaking people. Yep. Boat building has been known in Africa for thousands of years. Thousands of years. They got, they got us twisted. <laughs> Talking about the Mayas and the Incas. Reed boats and reed boat illustrations are found throughout Middle Africa. For example, today reed boats are still constructed by the Mandi speaking Bozo people and the Dravidian. Those people have their history confused. Yeah. That's why we try to tell people, man, you can't separate all these things that was going on around the same time. You got to put them together. The dots will start connecting and things will start making more sense. See, some of us in America, some of us, I'm putting myself in the pot with us. We so smart, we stupid. <laughs> Billion people speaking In India, because the early civilization builders in Mesopotamia, the Indus Valley, Africa, and China at the 3500 BC originated in the Saharan region, there exists a great similarity between boats engraved on rocks in Mesopotamia, the Indus Valley, India, and ancient boats in the Saharan and Nile Valley. The boat has played an important role in Africa since prehistoric times. As early as the Nagata culture, 4000 to 3500 BC, Africans were depicting boats on their pottery. The same style boats are found in the Sahara at Ten Zarif. These boats, dating between 3500 and 3000 BC, is evidence of the use of many boats throughout Middle Africa, especially sails. And these uh, boats are found on much of the uh, pottery and Nubia from ancient Egypt. Yep. Walter Wright noted that apart from human and animal figures appearing on the, on the Nubian rock drawings, the most dominant motif is that of reed boats. Many of these boats, like the boats in Nagata, too, had sails. Henry Lahort, during the 1956 expedition to the highland to Sili region of Algeria, also found reed, reed boats engravings. Boats with sails were still being used throughout Africa around 1500 BC. Queen Hatshepsut of Egypt recorded in her temple at Dia el Bahi a tight ship which has sails and 60 oars. This indicates that African ships were used to prepare for sail in the ocean through the power of the wind and or by sail. But mm. is believed to be the ancient Somali Ethiopian coast. The people who presently live in Ethiopia called the Puntite Empire, the Arway Empire. Other examples of reed boats have been found in Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. We're going to leave that right there because I want y'all to go do your due diligence. It's so much. This just a little piece. It's so much talking about them boats. Yeah, it's a lot talking about them boats. Okay. Now, what's the next receipt? We gonna get on to uh, let's see. The real burial place of Abraham and Sarah. See, they want y'all to think it's up there in Israel. But remember. They took the names from Africa, switched them up so they could make a place for, for them in history and put them in Israel uh, up there and up, up, up top somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see what our sister here got to say. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer alert. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Entertainment and educational purposes only. And for all my religious folk, you can look this up. A lot of the same names in South Africa is the same names up there in present day Israel and Palestine. There's a Palestine in South Africa. There's a city of Jerusalem in South Africa. All the rivers and lakes, the Jordan and Euphrates is in South Africa. Man, look, a lot of the same names. Let's go. But Ibram was very good. Right, so let's look at the cave. 
explication verse of the bible here some scripture here um let me use amplify bible right let's use this bible this bible says after this hebron there is a hebron there is canaan in israel but you see what these white folks messed up the memory is i don't think there's a memory up there that's what the dot that you got to connect Abraham, remember you dropped the H. Bury Sarah, you dropped the H. Ozar, his wife in the kiff of the field of Machpelah, to the east of Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan, Canaan, because some people east of Mamre. The kiff is by the east of Mamre. You see, they are even trying to tell you. We to found the gift. Oh, this is one rocking with Abraham because Abraham is the one that named us Muslims. Yes, Abraham is the one that named us Muslims. Remember this book of Bible is your history. They are even showing you a way to get the the gift. Let's use our map. We do not create this map. No, they made the map. We are not there when you create this map. They know everything they found there. They know everything. All right? The Bible says at the east of Mamre, there is a cave there. So let's look at where is Mamre. This is Mamre, South Africa. We all know where Mamre is right now, right? So at the east of Mamre, there is a cave. Let's look at this. This is believe it or not, the mountain where Noah's Ark is is right up in here. Mount Iraq. They want you to think Mount Iraq, Turkey. There's a Mount Iraq in South Africa, and the outline of a big ass boat goes damn near from east to west. Yeah, Noah's Ark. This is why all the animals can be found in Africa. You can't find all the animals in, in them uh North or South America. This is why all the animals can be found right here on this continent. East, this is west. So at the east of Mamre, there is a cave there. Let's look at the cave. This is west. If you are going this side, you are going to the west. And then if you are coming this side of Mamre, you are coming to the east, mm -hmm. right? right? So there is a cave at the east of Mamre. Let's look at this. Building Happy Valley Cave. Valley cave. Building Happy Valley Cave. And when you look at Mamre very well, there is no any other cave at the east of Mamre. Apart now, all this information that they share about South Africa, oh, it's so hard to find so hard to find from this cave over here let's look at the cave oh do you see the cave there resort. Let's, let's click let's see it a nice resort that they don't ever tell you about where all the white people go where all the europeans go see but you won't know nothing about this yeah, this stuff they keep hidden from you right here in, in the modern day. Yeah, you don't know nothing about this. Yeah, you only look what they tell you to look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at the cave. This is the cave. Now they change the name to Belly Happy Valley Cave. Do you see what these nations are doing? This is the cave that Father Abram was. You see what the news do? This that's a cave right there. The very great grandfather Abraham was buried and his wife Zara. Do you see the cave? I think it's a part two to this, but we're gonna keep it rolling. They made the okay, they trying to tell you where to get the cave at the east of Mamre. 
where you know where Mamre is, you go at the east of Mamre. There is a cave at the east of Mamre. This is why in South Africa, none of the black people in South Africa own the land. This is why the Europeans came to South Africa and made sure they locked the land down. This is the cave. Now it's called Belly Happy Valley Cave. Just try and look at the cave once more. Yes. They're making such a rubbish there. At the cave of Father Abraham and the cave of Father Mother Sarah, Zara. It's now becoming something else there. Oh. This is the cave. See the cave? doesn't go anywhere. Evidences are all over for you to see. So you know that this is my history. This is your history. Yep. There is no any other cave in the east of Mamre apart from this cave, Belly Happy Valley Cave. They know about this cave. Yep. Why are they hiding this story? You have to think, why are these people hiding our story from us? And them not even, they probably white South Africans. Don't that sound crazy? White South Africans? Oh, man. So we're going to leave that right there. That's a little receipt, something for y'all to go research. Yeah, something for y'all to go research. Okay. Now... I'm pretty sure y'all know about King David, right? Oh, man, did I lose him? Your Majesty. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer alert. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Entertainment and educational purposes only. Let's go you well in all that you do and you're loving yourself and all this like always and you're living your life according to your own are oh, we gonna speed up a little bit big salute to this sister right here yeah this right here Abigail Lucy Mary I want us to look at some keef over there, all right? In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 23, verse 50, um, verse 25 says, And Saul and his men went to seek him. When David was told about it, he went down to a cave. Let's look at let's let's look at this. Saul and his men begin the search, and when David was told about it, he went down to the rock. When they say rock, it will be cave, rock or cave, and stay in the desert of my own. My own. When Saul had this, he went into the desert of the my own in pursuit of. Where is the mound? Let's look at this. Let's use our map again. Let's find it. Let's find it. Let's look on the map. So, real. So, real. See, baby. Oh, that's fine. The British, the British crown got the biggest diamond ever found in the found right in these caves. The possible. Check it 
साइज में कुछ कोई नहीं दे चेंज लेता है ओ दे चेंज लेता है यू टू लेता ओ माउन माउन इसमें प्रोनाइजेशन इन बत्सवाना दैस वीज इस एंड वीज द किफ लेट्स लुक एट द किफ See, they change one one letter, and then throw everybody out. I just wanted to see something here. There is a key for my own, especially the ones of us that's on the search for knowledge. One letter change and one word can throw your whole search off. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is why everybody that's dissecting the Bibles, make sure you get you a concordance, so to tell you what has been changed to what. Yeah. In that days, when David. Don't go over the sound. Let me get this very really well. Good. Put your receipts together. Let me use this Bible again. Let me use the Amplify. Yep, right here. Then Saul and his men went to search for him. When David was told about it, he went down to the rock and stayed there in the wilderness. When they say rock, you mean they mean cave, rock cave, and stayed there in the wilderness or desert of Maun, wilderness or desert of Maun. When Saul heard it, he pursued David in the wilderness, wilderness of Maun. You dropped it. You pronounce it Maun. You. Let's look at the cave. That's the wilderness. This is the cave over there. Let's look at the pictures there. So you see this. See the evidence. Do you see the rock over? Your Majesties. Oh, okay, this is the one that had a part two. Okay, so we're gonna stop that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. You know, let me point people in the right direction. Well, I ain't gonna say the right direction. I'm gonna say um, in a direction I feel that is truth. Um, and hopefully, let's see what they whip up and come up to find. You know, for all those ones that start in their journey on a search of truth, start in South Africa and work your way down. To Egypt, because if if Egypt is north, that means the Nile River is the only river in the world that flows up. Hmm, does that sound crazy? Yeah, that sounds crazy, don't it? So just think about it. Just think about it. So the equator plays a big role because when you come on the other side of the equator, flip your world around. Yeah, so south becomes north and north becomes south. Remember that. Remember that. Just like the Amazon. You know why the Amazon doesn't flow in a straight line? It flows crooked. It flows across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up on the map. It flow across South America. It don't flow in a straight line up and down South America. It, fl it flow at an angle. Yeah, yeah. So big salute, everybody, man. I hope y'all learned something. Y'all stay tuned. I'm on. I'm searching for some more truth for us. Some more dots we can connect. Yeah, some more dots we, we, that we can connect in the meantime. So big salute, y'all, man. Love y'all, man. And y'all leave me a comment. Leave me some comments. Uh, point me in the direction of what to look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help me out. Help me be more um, enlightening. Enlighten me. So we can enlighten each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big salute y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Mm. And y'all stay tuned. I love my folks.